Hey there everyone, I'm Dresden, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Uh, we are back here today, doing another restoration. Hopefully this episode, getting ourselves to V12. Um, we tried to do that last episode, it did not work. We're going straight into the junkyard today. Hoping to find one. If we don't find one in the junkyard, then we'll go to uh, a barn and look for one. If we don't find one in the barn, we'll go to the car auctions and look for one. And I really hope that we find one this episode. Because I want to go to V12. I don't think we've done it for an episode. And I just want to. <laughs> Pretty bad. So, I want a V12 in my collection. This will not be V12. Audi TT. Nope. That's a four-cylinder. Uh, V12. V12, anyone? V12. Please. Please bring me one. This is a V8. Yes. Not what I want. That's not going to be one. But it's probably a four. Uh, it's a V8. Okay. Still still not what I want. Um, Skyline? Oh, what's well, a Rips and Starline? The uh, six cylinder, four cylinder. One of the two. I don't know. Not what we want. We do not want that. Um... We want a V12. Been to the junkyard so many times and have not found a V12 yet. And it's getting annoying because I want one. That's a V8. <sighs> no V12 today in the junkyard. Let's go to a barn. We'll look for a V12 in the barn. I just want a supercar to rebuild. That little Lamborghini thing will do. Or anything else, it's a V12. But like the Mozanzi Bonanzi or whatever it's called in this game is mainly what I'm aiming for. I just want a V12 though. Come on, get lucky. Get lucky at this barn. Lucky time. I don't like the auction house because there's no sense of mystery on what you're gonna find. There is here in the junkyard. But we're not going to find what we want. Oh, gosh. Look at the wheels on that thing. What kind is that? Emperor. Jeez. Um. <sighs> you know, this is actually the Bronco that we're trying to rebuild, though. The one that we have in our garage. And there's probably some good parts in here. 400,000 miles, though. That's crazy. Um, but I'm going to get the wheels off this for our personal Bronco. Um, but that's not what I wanted. So we're gonna go to the auction house and find, hopefully, a V12. I don't care if it has the engine in it when I buy it. I want one so that I can put a V12 in it because I'm gonna take the engine out anyway. Off camera, I'll rip it apart so I have the pieces in case we need one, in case we need the pieces for anything ever. No, I'm not going to the actual auction house. I'm going to the salvage car section of the auction house because that's where we find our trashier vehicles. And let's hope we have one more page. Come on, man. What the heck? Why do we not? <laughs> okay, we're coming back to the auction house again. <sighs> this is annoying. Why can we never find a V12 when we want one? I always find V12s when I don't want a V12. And now that I want a V12, it's like, well, no. You don't actually want one, though, do you? Yes, I do. Please give me a V12. <sighs> it's okay. We'll figure this out. Salvage cars. V12, please. Now... No. There's a drag Hudson Hornet. There's one. Alright, we got one. McLaren F1. It's going to be real expensive to buy. Because <laughs> it's a McLaren F1. But, if I'm right. Yes. V12 engine. Let's go. Finally. Also, I like looking around and seeing the random cars. Like, look. This is where our car was we bought last time from here. 
Switch to this Audi TT. But there's an old Porsche. There's a Bugatti Veyron. All these things just sitting in the junkyard. Like, why? Look at that skyline. That looks like almost new. That, that Porsche does not look almost new. Anyway. We found what we wanted. It's a little dented, a little damaged. But it's a very <laughs> expensive car. Starts at 50000 But estimated value is two. Point three five million dollars <laughs> for this for a three star it's a three star even which is good but we're gonna strip it completely apart anyway so it doesn't really matter that it's a three star um I doubt we're gonna get it for under estimated value I'm really not worried though cuz we're in sandbox mode uh, yeah there it goes it's overestimated value now we're in sandbox mode. We have infinite money, so I really don't care. Okay, we won. Put it in the garage, please. Thankfully. And finally, we got a V12 after two episodes of looking. It's not the one I wanted. I wanted a Lamborghini. I wanted the Lamborghini, this game's version, because I don't think I have any other ones. But we got a McLaren F1, which is more expensive, and it can be cooler if we got the GTR version, which we didn't. Um, but that's okay. So, here's our car. Also, there's our Bronc. And there's a Volkswagen something. Anyway, uh, move it to the first car lifter. And we, oh, it's already lifted because it's missing wheels. Okay. Thankfully, we found a V12. Oh my gosh, did that take forever. That took ages. That took way longer than I thought it would. But we found one. It's a little dented, a little dinged up. That's okay. Whoa, that clamshell just got rid of everything. Um, car part one. We don't need that. We don't need a car part one. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and strip this thing apart. Actually, no, wait. We, we forgot about this part. Car wash. It's car wash time. Let's detail the interior first. It's probably not good that our radiators are exposed while we're washing the entire car, but that's okay. Um, it'll be hard to tell what color it is because I took off the parts. Oh, it's orange. Okay, I guess that wasn't that hard to tell. I took off all the c parts that were kind of colored. Um, okay, those look like... That brake servo looks like it's dragging on the ground. All right. Let's go ahead and move this to the lift and strip it apart. Enjoy the time lapse, y'all. Alright everyone, so the car has been completely stripped out. It looks very, uh, very blank at the moment. Um, I don't think, did I miss? No, I didn't miss that part. Okay, let's go ahead and move this over to the McLaren F1. How much will it cost to use? $39,000 to use the welder on this thing. <laughs> on this little clam that we have going on, this little body. Little clamshell, not really clamshell. But now it's time we put the new engine in it. Not that. Nope. That's not what I meant to do. Get back here. Get back here, you little... Anyway, uh, let's install. We have two V12s. One's the one we just pulled out, and then a brand spanking new V12. Look at that guy. Looking good. Let's go ahead and move this back. And put this thing back together. Enjoy the time lapse again. Because that's how this works. Enjoy the... Just, just enjoy the time lapse. Bye. 
Alright everyone, I'm back, and we have our car here. I took, as you saw in the time lapse, it, it was a longer uh, part building the outside of this, because I took some of the parts from this, I took all the parts from this and put them on here, and then I decided I didn't like that. So I went to the store, and all the black parts are new parts that I bought, that I like better than the parts I put on it originally. And all these orange parts are from the other car, from this one. So, we have one more thing to do. Let's put some interior into it. We will get our nice seat GW500, which is what we always seem to use, and steering wheel M3. I feel like those are kind of racy seats and designs. So now, let's move this to the paint shop, and let's paint it. And I don't know what we're gonna paint it. I'm not gonna do the stock color, which was this. Though I do like that factory color. Um, I want to go for something a little more fun and I'm actually gonna make it this time and I want a little pinkish I think for this guy something like this that's almost the same color as our vaunt let's not do that let's do what's that look what if I saturate it up brightness down yeah I like that Let's see, do we have any liveries? Yes. Uh, we have, we have orange. We have, okay. That's interesting. Uh, no, though I do love me a golf livery. No. No, okay, we'll keep it stocked then. Um, alright. Let's go ahead and paint it. I didn't just paint it though. Um, wait a minute. Okay, that's about the same color that I had it before I exited the paint. Okay, there it is. Um, wheels are balanced, fluids are put in. There's our very expensive car. Um, in fact, What's it making? Uh, 700, uh, 661 horsepower V12, it looks like. $13,000. Or million. $13 million for this car. That's crazy. We are going to run a quick dyno test. I would, I do want to see. It should keep the factory power. But, just in case it doesn't keep the factory power. Uh, we're going to see here. Should be factory though. Yep, factory power. That's about what I expected it to be. Somewhere around 661 horsepower. Turn off, please. Thank you. Okay. Let's move this to first car lifter. Just so it teleports us over here. And then, we're going to go to the racetrack. As we do. And this should be fixed completely. Yes. Good, good, good. This will be our first real good look at the vehicle. As well as the drive. Which... 
Hopefully I can get a pretty quick lap. I don't know if I've even driven a V12 in this game before. So this might be the first time. Um, okay, I think it looks pretty good. Let's see here. Let's get our uh, arcade camera going. Oh, it's, it's twitchy. Holy cow. I wasn't expecting that, the steering to be that good. Well, I guess it's a race car, and it's probably got a good amount of downforce, so it's fair. Oof, but it's hard to drive. It was easier driving the last week's car, that Mustang, the drag one. That was easier to drive than this thing is. And I was right last week, this thing is indeed faster. I said a V12 would be faster, but it wouldn't have the acceleration. And I was correct. Definitely is faster. But it doesn't have the acceleration that that Mustang had last week. Um, very cool. Uh-oh. Okay. Get back on the road, please. There we go. And floor it. Yep. It is fast, though. I'll tell you what. Ah. I don't like the handling. Don't like the handling at all. Go on this straightaway. It's not as long as the back straight, but nice little straightaway here into a banked corner. Can I kick this at speed? Well, not on the road, I can't, but I can take it at speed, I guess. Here's another straightaway. Uh oh. Not the wall. Whoo, it's an expensive car. Stop that. Okay. We're good. We are good. We're back in the game. <laughs> and a little slalom chicane sort of deal here. Into this turn. And then another turn. And I think we're at the start finish line then. Yes, we are. Okay. Uh oh. Oh. Alright. We always wreck our vehicle at the end. Can we beat the Mustang? The Mustang was our best crash so far. No. Actually, that was not a very good wreck at all. Can we get a better wreck over here? The answer is going to be no. No. Though that this is a, the priciest crash we've had. <laughs> $13 million car right here we're driving. Completely rebuilt from the ground up. Oops. Okay, well. This is cool. I do like it. I like driving it. Can do burnout. Kinda. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button. We didn't do donuts in the last episode, but we'll do them in this one. Make sure you smash the like button, hit the red subscribe button, and that bell icon down below to get notified of when I upload. Fun fact, this vehicle is a three-seater in real life and in this game, as you can see. The driver sits in the middle to make it more like an F1 car, or like a race car, or a fighter jet, I think is what they did base it off of. It's a fighter jet. Um but you can see the driver's seat is in the middle of the car and the passengers sit on either side of him a little further back which is pretty cool but anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to smash the like button and all that jazz i already said that stuff and goodbye <laughs>